Hi, I'm Engineer Bill. Today is just a quickie. Too many times most of you are not convinced that a 3D printer is so valuable for your workshop. Uh, I have two of them. Uh, the one on the right is for big bulky stuff uh, and it has a bigger tip, something, things like this. The one on the left is precision and it does very small things and very detailed things. I used this reel when I was a teenager and my dad had it in his garage until just recently and it's been sitting around for 50 years and so I wanted to restore it. It didn't have to be super functional but I wanted to be able to use it on my boat once in a while. There's no monetary value to this. It's a, it was a cheap one to begin with but it was all frozen. I took it apart and here the gears, the main gear is all busted up. So what can I do? I can try to glue this together. Now forget that. That wouldn't hold. Uh, there's no way in the world that I'm going to get a spare part for this. But my 3D printer can reproduce this. All I had to do is model it on the computer as you can see here. It took me about an hour to model it. Uh, some of you would say, well I'm not skilled at that and I'm a professional. I used to be at uh, doing these kind of things with computers. Don't worry about it. It doesn't take that long with modern software. But once you get it down just a, a few steps then, then it becomes easier. Although this one was a little more complicated. So all I have to do is model part of it. It's a spur gear and it's at an angle and make sure it fit. And once I got that tuned in then I made the model a little bit bigger. Since plastic shrinks at, from, from being heated to cooling down, you know, you, you make a test piece, you measure it, and then you remake it bigger to compensate for the shrinkage because you never really know for sure what the shrinkage is. And it fits, this is a hex, it fits in here just right. It's perfect. So then I went ahead and finished off the rest of the gear up here and another gear that was over here and of course that fits just fine and then I would just test it out I can put this gear right in here we're restored now what this is only plastic what happens when the plastic gives out and it wears too fast. It won't, it'll wear a lot quicker than this metal piece. Yeah, that, that's one of the beauty parts of having a 3D printer. I have this part on file. If I need to replace this part, I just hit a few buttons and start up the 3D printer and within a couple hours later I have the replacement parts, take out a couple screws, drop it in, I'm good to go. Now, you can't beat 3D printers, especially for restoring a lot of old equipment, a lot of old parts. And you're never going to be able to buy these parts. So I still encourage you to get a 3D printer and find out what it can do for you. I use it all the time. I had both of them running just a few minutes ago. Now, if you're not into real small little pieces and, and you're a guy that deals with big pieces, I got that covered too. This is a big gear. Now this would cost an arm and a leg to buy somewhere and it would take me forever to machine it and it would be super expensive if I machine it like that of aluminum. Uh, but the 3D printer will do it. The, does this hold up? Yeah, it holds up great for what I use it for and under load, extreme load, yeah. Uh, could I put this in a car with uh, 200 horsepower engine and put a lot of torque on this, no, it, it, it'll break these things off. But having said that, if you're starting from scratch on, on a project, if you need a certain strength on these teeth, you just go wider to compensate for the weaker plastic. And there's other things you can do to this, but this has saved me so much money. I encourage you to get a 3D printer in your shop, and that's all I have for today. Thanks a lot for watching. All right, take a look at this part. This is my extender for my camera. 
this part goes to the tripod that I use and this part connects to the camera. I got the camera right here or one that I use and I slide it in position. I got a little stop over here and this works great when I need the tripod to be just a little higher than it wants to go. Now I busted this piece off on the bottom just a few minutes ago when I uh, clobbered this into my one of my workshop tables. I wasn't being careful but no problem because look back over here I just went into my files on my computer and I put it into the 3D printer and it's printing out a replacement part. It's that simple and that beneficial. Okay, so now thanks for watching.